Hey guys, I'm Georgia and this is Kirsten and we're gonna do a 20 minute full body workout. If you don't have much time in the day, there's no excuse, let's get this done. We're going to use some little weights. Uh, Georgia's got them around her wrist. I've got mine around my ankles. You can do both if you like, but depending on what you're looking for, when you do this little workout, Georgia's gonna feel it a lot more in her arms and I'm gonna feel it a lot more in my legs. Let's get going. So we're gonna start doing a little lunge sequence. So we're gonna face this way. Uh, let's go right leg forward first, left leg behind us. A lot of arm movement here, so listen along to the changes. We start in a long legged position. So hands on our hip, just shift that weight forward. Good, and this position's really important. So we wanna make sure that our knee is always over our ankle and our torso is slightly further forward. It's probably more forward than what you're used to. And our yeah, bottom, normal. yeah, normal, yeah. A lot of people think the lunge is upright, but we're gonna work like this and our bottom just gently wants to be sticking up and out. So not under, yeah, perfect, I'll do that again. So not like, under like that, you want your bottom straight out. And you'll get you'll that workload. You'll get way more into there if you do that. Also pulling that rib cage in, I tend to do this. So pulling that in, yeah. pulling your abs in as well. There's your position. Perfect, so let's take our arms behind us to start. Legs are doing nothing for the beginning. So we're just gonna lift those arms up here for 10, nice and high, keep them back and behind us. Good girl, nine, good, keep them high, eight, that's it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it there. Turn your palms to face you now and just hold this position. Just take a moment to connect. Is there weight through my front heel and is there weight through my back toes? And that just helps share equally the weight of your body and your pelvis. Let's bend our elbows now. Good, and take them back, squeeze to tricep. Two, good, three. Hamstring should have kicked in, has it? Yes, Four. it has. <laughs> good, five. Seven. This is another one. If you really squeeze your triceps and think about that muscle group, you'll feel a lot more of the work than just swinging your arms around. And let's hold it back on this one now. Hold it there for me now. Bend our legs down. Still keep our bottom up in the air. Great, there we go. Now, palms face the ceiling again. Let's go 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it there, palms face each other, back to those swings. Good girl, elbows high, one. Ribs are in, two. And in, out, three. In and four, good girl, in and five. In and six, in and seven. And eight, excellent, nine and 10. Hold it there, now bring our right arm up. Good, and look over our left. Swing it around, here we go, two. Now this challenges our pelvis, three. Nice control, four. And your balance. <laughs> Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, tummy in, nine, and 10. Good, coming up from there now. Bend back and into it now. So you're going to bend, take the arms up. We're going to go into what we call little Superman. Slide forward and lift. Good, come back. Hands go up and we bend. Abs are in and Superman, two. Good girl. Up, abs are in, three. Georgia will be feeling this a little bit more in her arms, yeah? Mm -hmm. Four, and I've got a little extra weight on my ankle, so mine's a little bit more leg and glute. Down. As we drop down, make sure the bottom stays high, so you're getting it deep into your glute and hamstring. Abs are in, slide. And really stretch long when you're flying, because you want those long, lean muscles. Two. One more here, good girl, and fly. <laughs> that is hamstring and glute. Let's go, other side. Left leg in front, right leg behind. Good. Leaning forward, let's get that position first. Mm -hmm. Good girl, so bum is up. As you mentioned, rib cage in. Equal weight through front heel and back toe. With those long legs, Georgia, I think you can go back a little bit further. Yeah, perfect. Leaning into it here now, hands are back. Palms are up to the ceiling, open our chest and off we go and we bounce for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good girl, palms face each other. Let's pump the tricep. One, two, make that tricep work. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, hold it there, 10, bend the back knee down, stick that bum out again. Good, palms face the ceiling, let's go 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay there now, palms face each other, work the tricep, one. Good, two, three, excellent, four. Make sure the weight's on the outside of the front leg, so you've got a slight arch in that foot. And we go four, three, work it hard, two, and one. Stay here for me now. Swing the, you're gonna go right? Okay, one. <laughs> Let's go two, and three, and four. Belly in, five, I'm better on this side. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring your arms back and beside you. As your hands go up, remember, palms up. Go a little deeper, then we come forward into Superman one. Come down and bend, and we go two, and down, and we go three. Good girl, bend down, make sure the bottom is up. Fly long, long fingers, long toes. Good, abs are in. And you're staying flat across that back, abs. not opening your hip up like meow. Yeah, <laughs> what was that sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> and up, good, two more, down, and up, last one. Stay low, and up, and coming on up. Well done. Good girl, even through both sides. It's even, it's burning. <laughs> it's burning, all right. We're going to go to a little curtsy now. So we're using our arms. We're going to take our right arm up high, take our right leg out. And what we want to make sure of is that the left leg stays facing forward. It's not in turn out. From here now we're going down and we touch the ground and we come up. One. I feel and like I'm in a dance two. recital. <laughs> Back to your younger days, Nancy. I know. Three. I was Take getting performances last four. night by my nieces. <laughs> Looked much like this. <laughs> Six. Lift it up. Seven. Make sure the legs are bending. Good girl. Eight. Good. Nine. We're going 15, 10, five more. You can do it, let's go. Five, up, four, up, three, up, two. Stay down, stay hold. Let's bounce those legs for 10, good girl. Nine, eight, seven, abs are in. Six, five, four, three, two, one, hand up. Gee. Other side, let's keep the heart rate up, yeah? Left arm up. Left leg out, good, <laughs> and we come down from here. One, up, two, up, three. Let those arms go down and up. Keep the chest open, up, down, good, down. Really bend the legs, make sure they're both bending together. Use the hands from your glute. And we've got five from here. Five, up, four, Three, use your legs, two, last one, one, hold, stay low, let's bounce, one, two, abs are in, three, four, five, six, go low, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, and ten, well done, let's finish these legs off, we're going to open our hips now, so we really want to work on keeping our hips open, this helps activate the glutes and to tone the outside of our hips. So toes are wide, great. Coming down first into that wide V. Body up nice and tall, ribs are in. And you wanna think about the weight being on the outside of your feet. So you've got that ni nice arch. All 10 toes are still connected and your arms come out. Good, and you're gonna lift your right heel up for me now. Bounce. Bounce it down, heel goes down, we'll alternate to start and we go left, good, right, keep the hips open and down, good job. Really squeeze that bottom, right. glute, Seven. glute. <laughs> Six, five, stay low, four, three, two, last one here, one, let's stay with our right heel up, let's add some arms, they're going to come up and down, and we drop the heel as the arms come down, and up, and we go eight, up, stay low, seven, up, six, up, 
five, up, four, up, three, up, two, and one, stay there, left heel, got it in us, one, two, three, abs are in, four, almost there, five, work your arms, six, down, seven, good girl, eight, last nine, ten, and up, well done. Legs are well and truly on, heart rate is up. Let's go into some roll downs onto the mat, yeah? We'll go, so should we go this way? Yes. Standing nice and tall from here, let's roll on down. Chin on chest. Relax, Ooh, heart rate's going. Top of head is reaching down to the mat. All the way down. You've got a U curve in your spine. Get all that space in your vertebrae. Good, let's walk on that from there. Good girl, all the way up. Let's come into plank. Hands are under the shoulders, pushing back through our heels, strong through our torso. 10 fingers wide spread. Let's do a little hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Pull your belly in, 2, and down we come. Nice work. Let's come around onto our bottom. We're gonna go into a little bit of ab work now. So we're going to start with some rollbacks. Hands gently behind our knees to start, sitting up nice and tall. We inhale here. And on the exhale, pubic bone comes back to belly button. We roll back, trying to get our lower back as close to the ground as we can without our feet lifting. Hold it there, hands come off, and lift them as we come up. Good, we bring them down again, we inhale. We exhale, we roll back. Coming off the sit bones, squeeze the glutes. Let's hold, good girl. Bring them up, lift, and up, and down. Inhale here, exhale, we'll do two more of these. Roll back, scoop into the belly. Yeah, really important to scoop yeah. into the belly there. <laughs> Feel that there. You almost can see your pubic bone come back to your belly button, yeah? Yeah. And if you touch that, can you feel that? Hands come off, good. If your hands come higher, feel how, woo, yeah come up good so you can challenge yourself by lifting your hands we inhale exhale rolling back good hold come off let's challenge yourself good <laughs> whilst keeping your feet on the ground mine lifted there for a second and let's roll all the way down onto the ground now all the way down all the way down all the way down good girl okay let's do some little ab work here we're going to start with our feet flat on the ground and I want you to feel like you're clawing your feet up and off the mat. So you sort of place all your weight into the floor and then feel like you're almost lifting the floor up with your feet. When you do that, do you feel it in the back of your legs, Georgia? I sure do. So it's almost like, yeah, you're really spreading out your toes, pushing them into the ground and pulling them. Yeah, perfect. So that's gonna help engage our lower abs. So let's go thumbs down the back of our neck, fingers interlaced and we inhale here, and on the exhale, keep the sensation with your feet and lift your chest up, back and down. It's a little move, we're going to do 20 of them. Let's go, two, trying to feel the abs, three, maintain that little gap, four, that neutral, five, six, seven. The more you sort of claw the feet, the higher you can come, nine, 10, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, keep moving, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, almost there, 2, and 1, well done. Let's bring those legs into tabletop from there now. So we're going to float the right leg up, inhale here, and on the exhale bring the left leg up. Good. We inhale here now. On the exhale, we're going to come up, bring our chest over towards our right knee, so we're in oblique, and extend the left leg out. Good. Bring your left hand across to touch that knee, and we hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come through the middle. We go to the other side. Right hand comes across, extend the left for five, four, three, two, one, come through the center. One more each side and across. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and across other side keep the pelvis level use the connection with the hand and knee to help lift you up for four three two one without the hold now let's move from side to side using the hand and knee one come back and through the middle keep the shoulders off two back and through the middle three back and through the middle four and five let's get to ten six abs are in seven use the hand to help eight nine ten and down you come pull those legs in nice work you should be feeling that in your tummy i am feeling it in my tummy <laughs> good girl all right, let's go, let's continue with our abs, but add a little bit of stretch now. So we want to keep the left leg out long and we'll lift the right leg up into tabletop. We start with our hands reaching up to the ceiling. We inhale here and on the exhale, the hands come down, the head and shoulders lift. We scoop, use the leg, good girl, and we walk up. Good, we want to look down towards our hips and we want to make sure our pelvis is level. We're going to let go here. So we're gonna let go of that leg and hold, beautiful, and slowly down at the same time. Hands come over the head. Let's bend that leg back in. We go again, we float our hands down. Lift the head and shoulder scoop. Check the pelvis is at level, lift ourselves up. Can we let go and our leg stays there? Scoop and down. And this is where it's really important to also have that U, that Pilates shape U, and sucking your stomach in. On the up, yep, so we don't use our back. Hold it here, open. Good, is the pelvis level? Let go, can we hold it? Yes, we can. Good, two more on this side. Float the knee, float the hands, scooping up, holding on, lifting up, let go. Good girl, back and down, one more. And it's not just falling back to the ground, it's, you know, Slow. controlling it down. Up, scoop. Do you find that the hardest bit, the fall down? Yeah, yeah. the let go yeah. and yeah. the control. Yeah. Be really long whilst you're doing it because yeah. that's giving you a long lean muscle rather than shortening your body. Yeah, yeah, it is the hardest bit. Let's go, arms up, we'll go to the other side now. Left leg up, good. We're gonna float the hands. Up, scoop. Remember, check the pelvis. One, one side will usually, usually be a lot better than the other. Let go and reach the foot and the hands behind. Let's float it up. Float, scoop, come up. Let's hold, let go and down. And pulling yourself up by grabbing onto your leg isn't necessarily cheating, it's just enabling you to do it with the perfect form. Yeah, it gives you, do you get, I get a really great stretch when I do that. Yeah. Up and down. I find so often with abs, people just try and go and you do these full on moves, but they're not doing them properly and just using momentum. Yeah, there's no abs. <laughs> and up and float, scoop and up, hold it there. Holding it there, let go, and all the way back and down. Good girl. Let's come all the way up for me. Good. Let's come onto our hands and knees from here, back into our plank position. We're going to do a little mountain climbing here, followed by a pyramid to plank to finish. All so right. we're coming out, one leg at a time, and then the next. Keep our hands under our shoulders. Abs are nice and on. And now let's try and maintain our neutral as we gently pull our leg forward without losing neutral spine. Other leg, in. Good, we'll do 20 here and back. Four, back, five, good. Six, seven, abs are in. Eight, nine, 10 more, here we go, 10. Good, nine, keep the pelvis high, eight, Seven, keep the tummy in. Six, seven, five, shoulders strong. Four, three, two, one. Let's hold it there now. Let's take ourselves up. Good. Now with this stretch here, make sure the ears stay in between the arms. All 10 toes are on the mat and come back and down. Hold here, good. Back and up. So we're still working the core. We're working the shoulder stabilizers down for two. Up, belly is in, down for two, and up, good, down for two, and up, 
Hold it here. Now let's challenge ourselves one more time. Let's finish with 10 more mountain climbers. Coming down into plank and let's go right leg one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work, up into your pyramid. Good girl, walk your hands back now. Slowly roll up, slowly up. Roll your shoulders around and well done. That's the end of our total body workout. You've got the time. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it.